guess, you guys sleeping in here or what? Uh, that, you know, so happy for those guys in that locker room. Um, you know, Veterans Day, um, you know, great win. Again, I want to thank all the veterans out there across the country. Um, everybody, that, you know, uh, protects this country and, and, and fights for us. Um, you know, uh, our kids fought hard just like they had fought. And, um, you know, appreciate you know, all the efforts today. Um, you know, what do you say? I, mean, I talked to our defense today. We had a 30 minute meeting uh, over in the Durants. And, and uh, after Bates got done, I just said, listen, everybody's talking about offense. You know, you win championships with defense, and that was a championship effort uh, today by our defense. Three fourth down stops. Um, you know, we turned the ball over late, and we, you know, forced them to a field goal. You know, we were talking about letting them score. And, you know, we go down and score. I was like, I, I can't do that. We, you know, we're going to stop them here. Um, but, uh, you know, when they got down, I think they won. Um, but, you know, just some incredible um, efforts by a bunch of guys. MJ Devonshire with the finishing touch, and I think Hobble put some pressure on the quarterback at that time. But uh, our kids were. Kids were fresh, uh, part of the plan. Um, you know, we didn't practice much this week. We had to keep them fresh, and I got that from Coach Tomlin. So I uh, appreciate Coach Tomlin and just talking with him how they deal with it in the NFL. Uh, it's nice to have neighbors like that. And um, you know, we, we took it easy. We had a, um, a Sunday jog through. We had a Monday walk through, which is a Tuesday and Wednesday practice, and then we played fast on, on Tuesday, which was our perfect Thursday practice. And that, you know, I thought our kids' legs were fresh. Uh, that was, you know, to me that was critical to winning the game today. Uh, our kids played. I, th I don't think they want to practice anymore. I think they just want to, you know, walk through, jog through, and get ready to go. So, questions? What was the big change in the second half with your offense? Had trouble getting guys open and stuff. You know, and I don't know. I mean, um, it, you know, I don't know what it was. Uh, we'll watch the tape and, and find out. Um, you know, I didn't see any adjustments out of their defense. Where they played a lot of different coverages, uh, trying to confuse people. And, uh, you know, we'll look at the tape and find out, but they did a nice job in the second half, and, and uh, you know, it happens sometimes. Um, you know, great teams find ways to, to win in a different way, and that's what our kids did today. You guys had a double-digit lead. Sorry about that. But you guys had a double-digit lead, and um, uh, you only were able to run the ball nine times out of ten or five yards in, in the second half. What was those struggles, and you know, how was that frustrating? You know, knowing that you couldn't run the ball in that situation. I mean, that's been a yeah. They couldn't run the ball either, so I, I don't know what we rushed for. But uh, you know, hey, that sometimes happens. You know, you can't get frustrated. You know, you give them credit. They got a bunch of good football players over there too. They got a bunch of four and five star guys, top ten recruiting classes, and uh, it just didn't look like that today. Uh, the way Pitt played. Pat, specifically on fourth down, uh, this defense 0 for 4, hold, holding North Carolina. What did you see with your uh, unit in that regard? I think we're the number one you know, fourth down defense in the country. I think people should probably just punt and, and do something else. I think uh, <laughs> um, our, our kids, I mean, you know, give, give the defense credit, give you know, our players credit, our coaches credit. I mean, they've done a great job all year long, uh, and uh, they did it again today. So those are some huge stops. And, you know, they, you know, they played lights out in the first half, and I don't know how many, you know, I counted four, five, three hours early, uh, maybe out of the first six, seven series. So, um, you know, and then, you know, they did some stuff in the second half offense where they started moving the tight end around. You know, we couldn't get a beat on where the tight end was at. You know, I don't know if that was something they made adjustments at halftime or not, um, but they certainly were moving around because uh, we, we had them bound up pretty pretty good early. Pat, a guy like MJ Devonshire, you touched on it, but coming in from Kentucky and probably hasn't had the impact on the season that he may have liked to have, but how big is that moment from your night, that walk-off interception there? You know, it's a big time. I mean, yeah, I think he's sitting right in that room there. Uh, you know, everybody gets their opportunities. You know, you, when you get an opportunity, then you take advantage of it, and that's great for his confidence, and he's been playing well as late, and he's been playing good all year. I mean, you got, you know, um, Damari who falls down early. I mean, um, look like me out there, you know. Uh, but, uh, you know, you know, he, he played well. I mean, AJ Woods out, and I expect him to be back this week. You know, MJ took over as a third quarter, got some quality reps today, so uh, I'm happy for him. And he's now a Clipper boy, so it's good to see the Clips get it done today. What do you like to uh, Lucas Crowell after dropping that first pass and coming up four catches after that? Yeah, I mean, you know, you got you got to rebound. It's how you, know, you got to have a short memory. And, um, you know, again, he had, you know, could have made a couple big plays early. Um, but, uh, you know, as soon as I saw him go motion, I saw the coverage they were in. <laughs> Um, we hadn't really shown that play, and that was, uh, you know, the slant. He was running the slant, and I was like, oh, it's going to be a touchdown here. And there it was. And then I told our, you know, uh, after offense scored, I told the defense, I, you know, and I told Whipple, I said, they will not score a touchdown. There's no way. And I'm just glad they had to, you know, kick a field goal there. Um, but I knew there was no way they were going to score the defense. Had a lot of faith um, in how our kids were playing. What did you see in Zervasi? You guys uh, you talked about the linebacker 
Sanders had gone Monday going into this game. It looked like he had several tough tackles. Well, I don't know if in front of me, but it seemed like he had a really big night uh, in this game. Yeah, he was outstanding. I mean, you know, he, he's, he's you know, taking over that bike position. And, you know, he makes a lot of plays in there, too. Uh, he makes them wherever he is. And, um, you know, I was happy with the effort he, he put out there today. What did he do to protect the quarterback in the second half? Say it again now. What did North Carolina do to protect the quarterback? I don't know. Uh, we'll have to look at it. I mean, I think they, you know, did some different slide protection, you know, away from the back, or just different stuff, you know, that you probably, you know, I can probably do an hour dissertation for you. Um, but, you know, we'll see. I thought, I, I didn't think we blitzed well in the second half. I thought, you know, there was times where we could have bull rushed the tailback and knocked him into the quarterback, and we let him scram out of there. So some things we got to fix. Um, so I'm not sure it's, you know, a little bit of what they did, but it's a lot of what we did, too. Pat, you mentioned that, Rogers. I'm sorry if you answered this in recent weeks or, or days or whatever, but what are some of the things that MJ Devonshire has provided in practice and, you know, just things that we as media don't see on, on game day? You know, MJ's just a steady guy. I mean, he just does his job. I mean, you know, he's trying to get better. I mean, uh, you know, he played safety all spring and that, you know, um, moving the corner, you know, probably at the end of, at the, end of the summer. Uh, just thought that's going to be the position for him. And, uh, again, he's a steady guy. He, he, you know, again, he's got a lot of confidence now, so. Well Pat, do you feel like up 17, you maybe needed to get the run game going a little bit more than you did? Yeah, I mean, you try to get it, and then you gave one yard, and, and you know, Cradle was out of there, which, you know, I don't think that helped us a whole bunch. You know, uh, Hoy did not play today, but probably could have, we would save him. Um, but, um, you know, uh, and Ryan Jacoby got his waiver, too, uh, our transfer from Ohio State, so we may need him as the, as the season goes on, so I'm excited about that. We just got that news on Friday, right this Friday. Yesterday, yesterday, yesterday was Friday, but it was a Wednesday. Right? Yeah. Do you have to keep the offense focused, or how did you keep it focused after throwing that interception and so late in this game to kind of turn things around? Yeah, I mean, you know, I didn't even have to Kenny do too. I mean, I don't have to keep it focused. I mean, Kenny comes back and does what he does. That's Kenny Pickett. I mean, nobody's perfect, and uh, you know that just tells you what kind of competitor he is. Uh, he made a mistake. It was a screen, and you know we'll look at the tape and see what happened there, but. Uh, you know, they made a play we didn't, uh, maybe trying to force the ball in there and trying to be the hero. Um, but, you know, Kenny Pickett comes right back and, and does what he does. Pat, what does a win like this say about the group you have here? You know, we got, we got a great football team. You know, I think we had a championship football team in that locker room. When, locker room when you talk about, you know, the explosive offense that we have and have had all year. And, uh, and again, our defense just keeps getting better every week, I think. So um, it says a lot about those guys in there. They work hard, and um, we got a good football team in that locker room. What can you say about the fans staying through the rain and the crazy game like that? I love that question. They, they, you know, Panther Pit was outstanding today. They were loud. Um, you know, I told Cal when he went out for the coin toss, I said, hey, I don't know if we're going to win this coin toss or not, but we like to play defense. Um, if we're not, we're going to be right down that end zone with our, with our students. So um, my hat goes off to them. They were great. My hat goes off to Heather Light for getting those guys cranked up in that end zone, getting those whatever those things were. Um, she, she comes up with something new every week. So thank you, Heather. Um, you know, you got one more next weekend, so uh, get it done. You mentioned last uh, earlier this week that they were going to throw some design runs at you, Sam Howell. How do you feel that you guys defended that? We did. We did a great job. I mean, he ran a, you know, ran a, uh, um, you know, a quarterback draw early, and we stuffed them. I mean, when you talk about you know pure quarterback runs, I think we handled them better than anybody did. Uh, he got us on some scrambles, and I think some poor pressure. Um, just angles and let him get out of the pocket. That's where he got, you know, he got his yards, um, at least in the second half, on scrambles, um, where we didn't have good ratio as far as our pressure goes and, and just keeping them. Um, you know, we just didn't do a good job pressure. There's some times, you know, our guys should have had sacks, I think. And we'll look at the tape and see. But uh, we bottled up him pretty good, I think. Um, again, it wasn't designed quarterbacks. And Phil Campbell had one hell of a, excuse my language, uh, a hit on fourth down and one. Him and Desmond, I think Desmond had his uh, feet. and. And um, you know, uh, Phil Campbell came in. It was a, it was a that was a big time play down about our thirty yard line going in. How about a couple more before we get to our player representative? Anyone else? <coughs> no, coach. Thank you for your time. Hey guys. Thank